Jenny Crane. Welcome to episode 103 of Low Tide, the official program for Rude Planet, and I'm your host. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so we're into the banter part of the show, the what I like to call the Johnny Carson part of the show. I usually use this part of the uh, show, the segment, to, you know, talk about things I might have watched or some observations I made or things like that. But um, I've been kind of single-minded lately, you know. Um, when I was working on bad things, one of the things I used to do is I used to uh, put on uh, shows on repeat and just let them play in the background. Just sort of like an osmosis type thing. I would like watch Frasier. I'd watch Frasier nonstop. And when Frazier would be over with, I'd start over again and watch nonstop. Uh, I'd watch Star Trek. Uh, I'd watch all the series. When one series would end, I'd go to the next. And then I'd start over again. And like, um, you know, like it served some purposes. You know, it's like with Frasier, um, with Frasier, I'd watch that because like I, I watched it for uh, comedic timing, uh, banter. Uh, how people would interchange between uh, between each other, you know. So like, I'd let leave this sort of stuff on for you know, like uh, hopefully something you know would trickle in, you know, through like an osmosis type thing. And uh, Star Trek is is by its very nature an ensemble show, and so like uh, the thing about that, you know, Star Trek, there's, there's tons of characters and you know it's a matter of how do you do a show that has a ton of characters and get all the character get all the characters to shine in their own moments so like there's that aspect you know so like and like I would even let the stuff play in the background as I'd be writing so um, one of the uh, hang-ups I've had about writing a sequel to bad things is um, it's got so many characters in it. It's got like <laughs> it's got like over 40 characters, uh, uh, 40 characters in it. And it's like I have no idea exactly. It's like I've written the first couple chapters, um, but you know I'm just trying to fill some pieces in my head. So like I have no idea. Like it's probably not, I know it's not going to be my next book. My next book's going to be something else. But like I still need to have you know like 
these ideas on the back burner. And uh, so, you know, I felt like a little bit disconnected from, uh, I felt a little bit disconnected from uh, the characters from Bad Things and, and things like that. So like, over the past couple months, I've been watching Sons of Anarchy on repeat. I'm not a fan of Sons of Anarchy, but like the thing is, is that every character on that show is a shithead. And like uh, when I was <laughs> when I started writing Bad Things, and like the initial idea back when it was like a movie script, you know, like ten years ago, uh, was that you know it was like I wanted uh, I wanted the concept to be like as if Idiocracy uh, took itself a little more seriously. Um, uh, it's like an idiocracy is a little bit more dangerous. So like that's, you know, like sort of like the approach I took when I was working on uh, bad things. You know, good guys, bad guys, they're all shit. So like, you know, I've been leaving that on repeat. Um, have I made any revelations about it? I don't know. I mean, like when I actually start going, you know, full-throated into writing it, you know, like maybe I'll... I'll see you know like if it's done any good as like right now i moved on to like boston legal because uh uh one of the missing pieces i figured out about the sequel to bad things is that it needs to have uh, a legal element so i've been going back to boston legal and like <laughs> uh my first youtube channel from like 15 years ago it was like uh, 2006, maybe, 2006 or so. Um, you know, I had a couple things up there, like a couple of a couple of videos I had up there, you know, like went viral, and they were basically like clips, you know, I didn't like have any, you know, I had like some trailers to some of the film work I was doing, but like it was basically clips. And like one of the clips I had put up there was like a clip from Boston Legal. It was like a little 30 second clip. It's like Alan Shore had, you know, made a joke and like it was a little 30 second clip and like uh, it was up there for a couple months and it was getting some traction you know as far as views go and I wasn't really taking YouTube very seriously like I am now and like um, a couple of months into it my entire YouTube channel was taken down you know it's like ABC and you know like uh, file the copyright you know claim and you know it's like I it wasn't given any it wasn't like you know how YouTube is now it's like there's everything on YouTube now you can get away with a lot on YouTube now but back then you know it's like they just unceremoniously took down all the hard work I put on my YouTube channel all over Boston legal but anyway like uh, Boston legal was like highly influential uh, with me as far as like my film work uh, film work when I was in uh, film school and things like that um, and you know, it's like the uh, camera work's kind of ridiculous because like it always like you know focus on the camera work would uh, focus on things other than people talking and focus on hands and shit like that and uh, yeah the character the characters are a little bit the characters all ev every character lays everything on really thick you know so like uh, the shtick uh, the shtick gets kind of old after a while. It's particularly like when you're binging it. If you're watching it like, you know, an episode a week, it's like, oh, I'm going to watch next week's episode. It's not so bad, but when you're binging it, you know, it's like that shtick gets, you know, kind of old. Um, but anyway, like, that's that. You know, it's like, it's like, did I reveal anything this week? Anything interesting? Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> not too much, Matt. Um, Anyway, that's that's where I'm at. Um, yeah, I, I got some uh, channel updates and things I'm gonna do at the end of uh, at the end of the unboxing. But right now, let's take a break, and I'll be right back. So I've had this sit in my garage now for over a month. Um, I've like grown like very asocial and. Uh, uh, the past years, you know, particularly when I was like writing and shit, like I don't like really think I've like sort of, like you know like really like hung out with any of my friends and you know like <laughs> years, you know, it's, it's one of those things where you know it's like eh, Facebook's good enough, um, but you know it's like one of my one of my uh, one of my local friends here, Jason, um, you know we we talk all the time online. We talk about comic books and metal and all sorts of shit, you know, and he's, you know, like, um, 
uh, he's been part of like the creative process uh, along the way and um, you know like he's, he's, been, he's been watching you know like uh, he's been watching low tide here on YouTube <laughs> and like uh, he's been promising me about giving me because like I have a stack of shit that like next time I see him whenever I see him I've been like collecting a stack of you know like you know books and shit that you know like I'm gonna give him and like uh, he's like been doing the same he's like Matt I got an A-OK -okay for your show it's like I have it's like I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do a Jason impersonation. I couldn't do that very well. We got the same birthday, so we call ourselves the archetype. <laughs> you know, so like, um, uh, you know, we just got like, you know, a lot of similar ideas about things or whatever. But like, um, yeah, we. Uh, uh, he's been like, you know, talking about like giving me an A-OK -okay for my show. And like, uh, he really just, we like, uh, he left it, he left it with our LCS owner like last month. And I picked it up and I haven't gotten around to it yet. But like, I kind of like, <laughs> it's not just, you know, it's not, it's not just, you know, like the, you know, like cape shit, you know, it's like, you know, it's like I got a box here of comics, obviously. And so I've been sitting out here, so like it's kind of been falling apart, but like I also have like, um, uh, uh, what looks to be vinyl. So like we have, you know, he gave me like a hint about what's in that, but like I have no idea what it is. But like I had to laugh, because like uh, the, uh, you know, this box, it's a, it's a heavy box. Um, you know, it's like it came in like a comic mint box. You know, it's like you got the Strange Academy, and uh, it says like Strange Academy uh, TCM variant art by Peach Momo Peach Momoko. Yeah, what you? What have you been buying, buddy? <laughs> so like, um, uh, yeah, Peach Momoko. Um, anyway, like, uh, let's just get the thumbnail out of the way, like, yeah, we got the Peach from Loco thing here on the box, let's just use that, so maybe like, wait, what do I do? I, I, I'm trying to think, you know, it's like, the thumbnail's like either the, the, the horns, the claw, the point, you know, the, the thing. Um, yeah, let's, see, let's try it. So. Okay, <laughs> yeah. So anyway, um, yeah, so like, this has been a long time coming. Uh, I got stuff laying around that I've been, that I call like the Jason pile. The Jason pile is really just like <laughs> some books over here and some books over here and some stuff in the short box I've set aside or whatever. But like, um, yeah, I have no idea what's in it, what's in any of it. Uh, but knowing and knowing Jason, it'll be kind of lull. So let's just, uh, ooh. Jeff, the, this, this knife snaps great. So let's just, uh, it says the tape, the little writing says tape should just rip right off, but I'm just gonna try cutting into it. Cause like, what's that old adage? You don't bring a gun on, a gun can't be brought on stage without being fired. So like, this just cut right through that knife like butter, man. Like butter. So, uh, let's just, uh, let's just get right into this, because, truth be told, this is like, what is this? It's like five o'clock in the morning. You know, it's like, I'm, I'm so far behind, uh, uh, doing stuff for my channel that, um, I'm so far behind doing stuff for this channel that, uh, you know, it's like if I'm going to get it done at all this week, um, 
you know, it's like, I gotta do it when I can. So it's like, eh, it's five o'clock in the morning. We'll just get shit done now. So, uh, okay, that's the logic of it. That's the logic of it. Oh, that's the knife. Ooh. See, yeah, it says, it says Matt's box. Awesome. So, anyway. Let's just see what the... Uh... Ah! Come on, man. A lot of comics in here. All right, so we got some cape shit. We got some vinyl. So let's just uh, snap into a Slim Jim here. So set that aside. So we got Wizard Magazine, first edition number is this? Superman Tribute Edition, complete with card. So you got a Wizard Magazine. So that's great. That's cool, awesome, and pretty good. So, um, oh yeah, we had talked about, uh, one of the things, one of the writers we talk about a lot is Garth Ennis. And like, um, we talked, I had picked up some issues of Caliban. He had, uh, uh, picked up the entire series and so like this is on Avatar Press and like I've never gotten around to like finishing it up so uh, Or completing the run. So we got uh, Caliban number one So Caliban number two Yeah, I've been uh, this is a one of this is a sci-fi series by Garth Ennis. Uh, I've not gotten around to reading it since simply because I haven't finished it. But like I have a feeling here, Caliban number three, and we got Caliban number four, Caliban number five. And uh, Cal Caliban number six. And uh, Caliban number seven. So I don't know exactly what, how many issues are in the run, but that's, you know, I, I think that's all of them. I think that's all of them. But like, uh, yeah, we, we talked about this one. Um, he said it's pretty good, but I haven't gotten around. Oh, shit. Oh snap! Now this is something I'm also been building up a list, uh, building up a, a run of. Um, Death's Head too. <laughs> Death's Head, uh, Death's Head and Lobo were like two of my favorite characters from back in the day. Death's Head too was included in that, and so like, um, f dude, did you give me like the? Yeah, man, he gave me like the entire Death's Head two run. It looks like. Yeah, look at this shit. We got, uh, we got Death's Head 2, number one. Number two. It's like, I, one of the reasons, one of the, it takes a lot for me to like really like cape shit even back then. And it's like, if you want me to like a character, he's gotta be a wise ass. You know, so Death's Head really fits into that mold of Death's Head 2. So we got Death's Head 2, number two. And number three, three, and then like, um, yeah, I, there's a, yeah, there was like a, there was like a four part mini series and then there was like a, a regular series and then like this one has part four of four. So like that's from the, that's from the four part mini series. Um, I need to look and see exactly what I ha what I have and what I don't. Um, you have to go in and see exactly what I have and what I don't, because like I know I have like a, a nice real stack of Death's Head. Uh, um, so like this should yeah this <laughs> this is awesome. Man. So we got uh, Death's Head number five, number six, <laughs> yeah. Death's Head 2, number 7. So, yeah, it's like, um... It's 
It's like I want to get like the original Death's Head run too, and like they they tend to be cheap, but like I'm kind of a completionist when it comes to characters I like, and like the first uh, the first uh, appearance of the original Death's Head is in like Transformers magazine or something like that, and like. Uh, just like everything else that's going through the roof. So like that'll be like a $200 issue whenever I find one. And I'll have to find it from the UK because it's a UK character. And that's at number eight. And then uh, number nine. And number 10. I forget who is the writer on this run. But like the... You know, like the best writers that you know out there are like UK holdovers anyway. So like, I'm sure there's some familiar faces in here. And then uh, Death's Head number 11 and uh, number 12. So yeah, that number four looks like it's from the four part mini series. So um, I might have the I might have the four, I don't know. I have to I'll have to go through my collection and figure out exactly what I have. But that's awesome, cause like that's that saves me a lot of time. One thing, one thing that uh, one thing I love is when people send me stuff that saves me time. So like, okay, so no hero. Oh, it's, a, it's another Avatar press series, serialized graphic novel by Warren Ellis. He left me a note here that says I need to pick up number one. Um, but uh, yeah, I love Warren Ellis. His writing is just fantastic. So we have No Hero number two. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Yeah, it's like, you know, probably around 5.30 right now. The sun's coming up and the, I can hear the birds chirping. We got No Hero number three. And uh, No Hero number four. Yeah, I like these covers, man. No Hero number five. And No Hero number six. No Hero number seven. For Jason, this, uh, for Jason to give this to me uh, means that this is worth reading. So, like, that's definitely... Uh, what'd you do here, dude? What the fuck did you do? Come on, man. It says... Because fuck you, I'm stuck with one too. That's what it says right here. It is, uh, it is a nullified variant of Wolverine number eight. Yeah! Um... I know we had discussed like, you know, you know, it's like one of the things that, you know, we discuss a lot about is like 90s covers and shit. And so like this cover, like it, but this cover was brought up in conversation before only because, you know, it's got like that 90s vibe, but like, you know, it's like, you know, the whole null, nullified bullshit. Come on, man. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I, I, I kind of figured with Jason and everything that I couldn't do a box here without getting punked. So, the punk somewhere. So, like, that would be that would be definitely it. So, um, yeah. I guess I'm. I got a mutant box. I hate mutant bullshit, but I keep getting mutant bullshit, and like so, like that's going in with the mutant bullshit. So that's that's that. So let me set the cape shit aside. The other thing we talk about is metal, and uh, so um, he's he's really gotten into collecting vinyl. He's really gotten into it. I collect, you know, I tend to collect stuff whenever I find something odd at the thrift store. Or if there's just something I really, you know, can't pass up. So, like, my my metal, you know, like, collection is kind of sparse. But, um, what do we got here? Ha! Nanu Nanu! Um, we had a lot of, uh, discussions about Mork. With the black metal band Mork. And, uh, it invariably, uh, in, uh, devolves into 
devolves into uh, jokes about Mork and Mindy. Because, like, I know it's supposed to be Norwegian. Um, I know it's supposed to be Norwegian. I forget what it's supposed to mean. But, like, you know, it's like Mork, you know, even, even the... Uh, he left a note that says Nanu Nanu. So that's awesome. That's awesome. So I don't even think I have any black metal in my collection. I take that back. I got I got Bathory. Um, something else. I forget. I, I have very little black metal. Uh, I guess you can count, you know, Merciful Fate there too. But like, is that so what you have here? Oh yeah, Impaled Nazarene. I've not owned an Impaled Nazarene album for 25 years, I think. I think that's like the last time I bought one. So, Eight-Headed Serpent. So we got Impaled Nazarene. So, yeah, man. Fucking A. I have, uh, so, that's the problem with collecting is that, you know, like once you get a taste for it, then, you know, it's like they start piling up. And it's like, you know what the pro cost of vinyl, dude, thank you, man. You know, it's like, you know what the cost of vinyl is? It's like, you know, it gets like really fucking up there. And you know, it's like, it's like, you're yeah, gonna expect me to collect vinyl too. It's like, I'm fucking broke, man. It's like, I got cape shit and vinyl and VHS tapes and all this other shit. But, um, oh man, thank you, dude. Um, yeah, him, him and I go way back. I feel kind of bad because, like, you know, it's like, you know, here's like some brand new, like, brand new steel, still sealed black metal and vinyl. And it's like, what do I got? I got, you know, some <laughs> valiant doubles and like maybe a Drudge Dread thing here or there. So, like, uh, I got to work on the Jason pile because, like, now that makes me feel bad, man. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Thank you. Thank you. I kind of needed that. Um, so that's that's that. That's local AOK. -okay. So that's that's pretty badass. So anyway, that's neither here nor there. So um, it looks like YouTube has allowed me to has allowed my replies to like stay up on like the last episode of Low Tide I did last week. Um, all my replies are up. So like I think that that bug seems to be fixed. But, you know, it's like that, that Metalhead box video I did a couple weeks ago. It's like, it got like a whole shit ton of views. And then I do like the, uh, the AOK -okay from TPJ Comics from, you know, last week. And like, it didn't get hardly any views. So like, what the fuck is going on, YouTube? You know, it's like you shit in one hand and wish in the other, man. You know, it's like, it's always something. Anyway. Um, yeah, things had to slow down a little bit for the month of July. I'm hoping to pick things back up again for the month of August. Um, so start expecting more regular content this month. Um, but that, that, that's, uh, that's something I need to work on. By the way, by the way, uh, congratulations to Spidey's t uh, Powder Tumblers for winning the, uh, uh, for winning the uh, uh, July giveaway. Gave away the Mexican foil variant of Incredible Hulk number 181. So, uh, so congratulations to him. <laughs> Man, I'm a little bit frazzled because like, I'm running low on my battery. But um, yeah, uh, August giveaway, I'm giving away the uh, uh, Mexican foil variant of Giant Size X-Men number one, the foil variant. Let's film the promo so I can worry about that later. Um, but let's see how we do this. So this is the Mexican foil variant. Um, yeah, so look serious, Matt. So that will be what I'm giving away for August. To participate, please be a U.S. resident. Please be subscribed to the channel and leave a comment on an August video. Um, also, uh, I'm going to be... Uh, 
<laughs> brain fart time. Uh, 500 subscriber giveaway, the Patrick Gleason version variant of Amazing Spider-Man number 55. Yeah, I'm giving it out way uh, once I reach 500 subscribers. It is signed with certificate of authenticity, but if you want to participate, bring your friends, have them subscribe, because that's the only way I'm giving it away. It'll, I'm perfectly content to have it sit here in the garage. That's just the way it is. Um, yeah, so YouTube's allowing me to comment, uh, reply to comments again. Um, but it looks like they're not like bringing in many. It's like the Metalhead box had like a lot of views, but the last Low Tide episode didn't have as many views. So like, what the fuck is going on, YouTube? Come on, help me out, man. Um, Anyway, if you're interested in a signed copy of my book, Bad Things, I have a link to my uh, Kofi page in the uh, coffee page in the description below. And um, I'll be back with some more regular content here soon. New, new episode of Low Tide will be by sometime next week. Um, when it comes to schedules this month, I'm just going to be like, fuck it. All I'll say is I'm going to be more regular. I'm going to have more content. And we got big plans coming. Big plans. They're going to be awesome, cool, and pretty good. So I'll see you soon. I think that's it.